Okay, so now I'm going to show you a demo of using optimistic concurrency, optimistic locking. Um, I've already written a program to show you the mechanics of this. I'm going to go ahead and just step through it once. So, again, the key to using optimistic concurrency is getting a hold of the data cache item version. So I'm going to go ahead and get my cache. I'm going to go ahead and get the item from the cache. Now, if the item is null, I'm going to go ahead and add an item. And again, cache.add returns a data cache item version. So once I add the item, I now have the version. And again, the version is an opaque kind of data structure. There's an internal number there, but you can't rely on that. And again, um, it's just an opaque object. I'm going to go ahead and enter a new value, new value, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a cache.put. Now notice I'm doing the cache.put inside of a try block because I'm using the override that takes in the data cache item version. If there is a newer version that has been placed in the cache since I got this version object, there's going to be an exception. And of course, because nobody else is using this cache item at all, no other programs at the moment, everything works just fine. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this again without debugging. And there's one instance of that running. And I'm going to go ahead and start another instance running. So now we have two instances of the program running. We have an instance here. We have an instance here. Both of these instances have essentially the same data cache item version, but if I enter a new value here, that's going to work. Now, this program has a stale data cache item version because when I hit enter, it's going to fail and it's going to tell me very specifically hey, you don't have the latest version of the object. You should get the latest version um, before you do this. Now, how you use this functionality um, from an algorithm point of view is kind of up to what you need to have happen. Um, it may be that you have some logic where last person wins. And if you have last person wins, all you need to do is use cache.put without passing in a version. If you have other logic or you want all your logic to always um, only update if the version isn't newer, then you can write code similar to this, or you could write code that, in the case of the exception, gets the newer value, holds onto the newer version, and maybe potentially gives the user the opportunity to say, hey, do you want to overwrite this value or not? Again, the semantics of how you take advantage of optimistic locking is up to you. Um, the data cache item version is the key to making this work.